How's it going guys? Adam Bonjavani back here with another Thursday video for you, for you, for you, for you. Now today's a very special video because onlinebookhub.org just hit 1 million users. 1 million people are now members of onlinebookhub.org. So I thought to put this in perspective how awesome this is. I tell you how many states and countries in the world have less than 1 million people. So that means onlinebookhub.org is bigger than some states in America and some countries in the world. It's pretty crazy. Here's a list of states that have less than 1 million people living in them. Montana, Delaware, South Dakota, Alaska, North Dakota, Vermont, Washington, D.C., and Wyoming all have less than 1 million people. So onlinebookhub.org, you know, we, we, could, we could be our own state. We could just read books all the time. That'll be like the law. Like you have to read like one book a day. That might get a little tough. Maybe one book a week. That sounds a bit better. There's also a ton of countries that have less than 1 million people. So I listed kind of the most popular, prominent ones that you might know. So onlinebookhub.org has more members than Aruba, Iceland, Guyana, Fiji, Djibouti, Montenegro, Barbados, and the Bahamas. So next time you're thinking about vacationing to like somewhere like Fiji or somewhere like the Bahamas, just come to onlinebookhub.org. We're a lot cheaper. But guys, thank you so much for anyone watching who signed up to be a member at onlinebookup.org. I appreciate it. I know the owner of this site, Scott, appreciates it. And let's keep building this community. In honor of Celebration having 1 million subscribers, I thought I'd ask you a question. And I thought I'd answer the question as well. So what is your least favorite book and why? I want you to comment on Facebook or YouTube, wherever you're watching this. Let's have a discussion. Now, I'm going to tell, I'm going to talk about mine. Now, I'm not going to read the author's name because I feel like that's extremely rude. But to be fair, I did get this book for $3 at a gas station in Alabama. And it wasn't the most expensive pricey book, and rightfully so. It was pretty terrible. You can't see the author's name. It was a book about a basketball player named Jeremy Lin who had a really, really successful season with the New York Knicks and kind of took the league by storm. I love basketball. I love sports. I love the premise of this book. I love Jeremy Lin. So I'm like, you know what? I'm going to like this book. There were so many grammar mistakes in this book. And let me tell you, I'm not a type of person who appreciates grammar mistakes. Your and your are two very different things, and you should know that by now. When people in real life have texting grammar mistakes or, or people are writing and they have grammar mistakes, it bothers me. This book had so many grammar mistakes that didn't even feel like a real book. It felt like it was a rough draft. I just think that, you know what, if you're going through the effort to write a full book by yourself, by having grammar mistakes, it just takes away from the story you're trying to put forward. People are now focusing on the grammar and not what's really important about the book. That's my least favorite book. That's why I feel like that's a pretty valid reason. Now, I want you to answer in the comments, what's your least favorite book and why is that your least favorite book? Let's celebrate 1 million users and 1 million people talking about books and getting excited about reading by talking about the books we don't like. If you really don't want to, you don't have to put the title or the author. Just talk about what bothered you about the book that you didn't like. So, here's to 1 million more users in the onlinebookup.org website, and I will see you guys next Thursday.